The two units set Suzanne Keen back five grand, and she says they malfunctioned from day one. It's very, very warm, and it was over a long holiday weekend, and it was warm. And on top of that, it was very frustrating. Arthur Ayer, the installer, sent technicians out at least twice to make repairs, but the fix never lasted more than a few days. I couldn't believe it. I just, I, I thought, this is absolutely ridiculous. Out of frustration, Suzanne called another company that discovered multiple issues with both the air handler and duct work in the attic. It was $2,150 to make it right. The permit process exists as a check and balance system over installation and other issues, but in this case, we found no one pulled a permit for this job. And Suzanne says Arthur Ayer did not respond to her calls to make it right. I also contacted the Better Business Bureau. I contacted Train. After looking over Suzanne's documents, I called Randy Arthur, the owner of Arthur Ayer. In an email, he explained, we have corrected our internal processes for permitting as well as improving our quality control out in the field. Arthur Ayer regrets any inconvenience to Mrs. Keene. After our conversation, Arthur Ayer pulled the permits for the job, which is now past inspection. The company also reimbursed Suzanne for the repair costs. He made it right, and, and God bless him for doing that. You're having an air conditioner installed, electrical work done, or a new roof put on your home. It is critical to make sure the permitting process is followed. It is the law, and it guarantees you that a county inspector will at least check the major components of the job. Linda. Thank you, Jackie. Well,